Chris Di Domenico. Um, right now you're back home in, in Canada. How's life there at the moment with all that uh, Corona stuff? Uh, it's starting to be better. We were in a lockdown. It was probably the third week we were in a lockdown. Everything was closed. And then this week, a couple of stuff started to open up, like garden centers and everything like that. So it's starting to move along like normal now. And, you know, we'll see when I get back to normal. But, you know, it's definitely been tough for, for everyone out there during this time. And hopefully everyone stayed safe. So you have quite the same... Uh... Same steps as here in Switzerland, quite similar. Um, just uh, now you have a, a very long summer break, which is not very usual for, for hockey players. Do you like that longer summer break or um, do you prefer like the short summer breaks, like the normal ones? Uh, I don't know. This is the first time in a while I've had a longer summer break, but I don't know. I think it makes you miss the game more. You know, it can be a good thing or a bad thing, but to me, I'm just going along as the way as like I would before, prepare, work out. You know, I've been staying active, trying to work out as much as we can and, you know, just to be prepared when the season starts. Is it harder to stay um, focused, to, to be prepared, to, to, to do the workout when you have such a long time, um, when, you're not, when you don't know when it's going to take on again? So. Uh, yeah, I guess sometimes it gets a little hard, but you know, you're a professional athlete. You got to do what you have to do to take care of yourself. And you never know when it can start again, but you just have to make sure when it starts that you're going to be in the best shape and be prepared what you need to do. So coming back to the hockey now, um, you uh, will open like a new chapter in Switzerland. You've been six years in, in, in Lang now. Now uh, you've signed for uh, for Freiburg. Um, what did you make come to come to Freiburg? Ah, yes, during the time, you know, we had an interview and, you know, it sounded like a great idea, you know, you know, Freeburg's always been an unbelievable place to play. I've talked to some guys in the league and they said, you know, it'll be an awesome to go there. They're going to have a great team and, you know, they're going to have a chance to win a championship and the ultimate goal in life is to be a champion. So I felt like, you know, that would be the next step in my career, the next step in my chapter and, you know, it wasn't a hard to... It was a hard decision at the end of the day, but, you know, at the end of the day, I think I made the right one and I can't wait for the season to get started. So you want to be a champion, like like you said, everybody wants to be like, but um, if if you want to be uh, in, a, in a team where there can be champions, you have to be a leader. You were a leader in, in Langnau, sure, for that. Um, are you, are you going to be a leader as well in Freiburg? And if so, um, how are you going to do that? How you want to lead in free work? Uh, I don't think I'm going to change the way I am. You know, I'm. I like to be a leader, and you know, when I can come in there, if I can come in there and you know lead by example, I'm not going to change anything. It's you know coming to a whole new team, so you kind of adapt to it. But you know, I'm going to bring what I bring on the ice and off the ice. It's made me who I am today, and you know, I think we'll have a great team. And you know, like I said, I'm excited to get the season started and hopefully this all ends soon that we get to start on time. But if we don't, then, you know, I'm sure we'll start soon. The last couple of years in the National League, you always scored like around 40 points in the regular season. Um, how are you going to reach that mark again, That those stats again? Just, are you going to? Of course I am. It's, it's always the goal. But just put in hard work, you know, Play hard every game, like it's going to be your last, and you know, all the good stuff will come. Put in the work off the ice, you know, work hard in practice. You know, be a good team guy. Is always being a good team guy, you get rewarded, and you know, just like that. And you know, hopefully, we all gel together. It's going to be an exciting season, and hopefully, we can do something special. And in this season, you're going to have to battle for a spot on the on the roster because there will be five uh, foreign players in Freiburg. Um, do you prepare yourself like mentally for that to know that you have to battle for for one of the four spots in the in the roster? I think it's a good battle between the five of us. You know, it'll be a friendly battle, but at the end of the day, it's the coach's decision who wants to put the lineup in, and you just got to be ready and battle hard. And if you're not in the lineup, then you just got to show them. You know, and when you get the chance next game, that you got to be in the lineup. And if not, then you got to be there to support your teammates. And, you know, I think it makes everyone work a little harder. You know, you got to earn your spot and, you know, you got to earn to keep it too. So I understand, right? Like that's, that, that's motivating you. You're looking forward to that battle. Yeah, yeah. 
I hope everyone should look forward to the battle. You know, you got to work hard and in a workplace, you got to work hard to keep your job. So this is no different. And, you know, it'll be a friendly battle between them, all, the, all the teams and all the players. And especially us, we start with five. So it'll be friendly, but, you know, we'll keep it business and we'll have fun with it too. Do you already know um, when we are coming back to, to Switzerland, when you're coming to Freiburg to see the team? Do you have like uh, an idea? I don't have an idea yet, but if the season starts on time, then I'll probably be there in the middle of July as I like to come earlier and get settled in and, and I'll meet the guys and start working out with them too. Okay, and uh, one last question. In, in Longo, you always wore the number 89 on your jersey. Um, as you may know, uh, it's taken in Freiburg. Andre Bikov plays like yeah. forever with number 89. Um, did you already uh, chose, uh, choose a, a new number for you? Yeah, I chose uh, 88. I took one step down. So, <laughs> so I'll, be 88. I'll be 88 next year. Is there something special to uh, be special bond to 88? Because uh, 89, uh, it's, uh, it's your, your birth. So, Yeah, no, I just... Thought 88 would look cool, and I guess we'll see how it goes next year. <laughs>